everybody, welcome to what is going to be an exciting Checkers or Wreckers season. I'm your host, Seth Cole, and we are preparing for an exciting event here today. This is Checkers or Wreckers. If you're not familiar with it, let me give you a recap of what's going to go down. There are five teams. Each team consists of one captain and seven drivers. During a course of 30 races, these drivers will all be vying for any position possible, all of them going for the win. When the race is over, all drivers from one team, their points will be totaled together. The same will be said for the other four teams. And then whoever has the most points, they will have that advantage going into the next race it's going to be a complete team effort but here's the catch no cautions no disqualifications anything goes you do not get penalized in any way if you turn somebody cause a big wreck it doesn't matter you are able to do whatever you want here it's no holds barred in this whole race this whole season to uh, say the least now, what's going to happen here is you're going to see different things happen. You may see teammates work together. It's very likely, though, you'll see teammates not work together. So one teammate may decide that he wants that other teammate spot and flat out turn him. It could happen here. Also, you're going to see drivers make moves that they would never dream of doing. They are not going to be conservative. They are not going to be big picture racing. They are going to be going all out and trying to win this race. Also, the next thing you're going to find out that's going to happen here is there's going to be a lot of rivalries that will happen. Maybe not exactly between one team and another, but maybe even inside a team itself. You may end up having one driver who didn't like the way he was raced by his teammate, and that rivalry may roll over into next week's race. This is going to be a really exciting event. We are really looking forward to it. Let's show you now the starting lineup for today's race. Remember, five teams. Team captains are Sean Henley, Robert Bam, Matthew Rodriguez, Dougie Shears, and Seth Cole. Let's show you who is starting where for which team. It's going to be the five car of Jake Johnson. He'll be first. He's part of Team Cole. He'll start alongside of Jordan Hester, who is a member of Team Henley. That's going to be captain of one of the teams. That's Matthew Rodriguez in the 71, captain of Team Rodriguez. And he'll start alongside of Zach Carlson. Carlson is a member of Team... Sorry, I'm trying to look it up here. Uh, Zach Carlson is a member of Team Cole. So two members of Team Cole starting in the top four. Then we've got Leo Rogers. He is a member of Team Shears, and he'll start alongside of Alex Filter. Alex Filter, a member of Team Ban. Then it's going to be Robert Ban, the captain of Team Ban, starting off there, and he'll start alongside of Jacob Gonzalez, a member of Team Shears. Then it's going to be Tim Walsh. He'll line up there, and he is a member of Team Ban, starting right behind his captain. And Trent Dunham will start alongside him. Dunham is a member of Team Henley. There's Sean Henley, team captain of Team Henley. He'll start alongside of Jake Berg. Berg is a member of Team Rodriguez. Finally getting into some Rodriguez uh, team members. We got Jack Richards there in the number 23. Richards is a member of Team Henley. Jacob Bell will start alongside of him. Jacob Bell is a member of Team Ban. That's going to be Callum Wales. He'll be uh, a t he's a team uh, a member of Team Shears, and he'll start alongside of Tim Fiegel. Fiegel also a member of Team Shears. Then we got Luke Walker. He is a member of Team Shears. So you got three Team Shears cars there, and then you got Corey Williams in the 03. He's a member of Team Cole. John Worry. He'll start off there, and he's a member of Team Rodriguez. And then it's uh. The nine car of Justin Johnson, a member of Team Cole. John Dillon will start off there, a member of Team Henley, and he'll start alongside of Connor Breton, also a member of Team Henley. And then it's the 09 car of Jake Cole. He's a member of Sh Team Henley, and then it'll be Pichu London in the two. He's a member of Team Rodriguez. Then the 17 of Adam Fiegel, team of, uh, member of Team Cole. And then Ryan Acosta in the 13, another member of Team Cole. Justin Acosta, another member of Team... John Acosta, rather, another member of Team Cole will start off there. And then it'll be Arnold Columbia. Columbia is a member of Team Henley. Uh, on the outside there, well, actually, let's look at the inside. It's Brian Fleener. 
Fleener is a member of Team Shears. And then just up ahead there, that's Jacob Cook. Cook is a member of Team Ban. There's John Brace. He's going to start off there, and he is a member of Team Ban. And he'll start alongside of Jacob Lawler, who is a member of Team Rodriguez. Then we've got uh, Captain there and Dougie Shears. He'll start alongside of uh, Charles Jackson, who is a member of Team Ban. And unfortunately, we can't show you the rest of the starting lineup due to the fact that... Uh, oh, drat. I'm getting my camera angles all confused here. Anyway, here we go. Green flag is out. Remember, no holds barred, no disqualifications. Anything goes. You're going to see a lot of trucks spinning out, wrecking, and the caution will not come out for it. Look at this. Matthew Rodriguez trying to head his team to the front as he's going to take the lead there. Oh, Robert Bay gets into somebody there. Almost turned him, and I think they saved it, but I don't know. Matthew Rodriguez right alongside of Jake Johnson. There's the car. Oh, Jacob Cook is involved. There's a captain. Sean Henley, Michael Harvey, and Corey Williams have gotten a piece of it as well. Oh, my. Oh, more cars involved. Ryan Acosta is involved. A member of Team Cold. John Brace is involved. A member of Team Ban. There's Jacob Gonzalez. He's another member. Of, or he's a member of Team Shears. Jacob Rodriguez has gotten a piece of it. A member of Team Rodriguez. Tim Fiegel, he's a member of Team Shears. There's Team Captain of Team Shears right there. Oh, John Acosta, a member of Team Cole is involved. There's Daniel Schwab. He's a member of Team Rodriguez. Callum Wales is involved. And Sean Henley, as we mentioned, he's gotten a piece of it as well. Callum Wales is a member of Team Shears. So Team Shears has lost quite a few people here. There's another car they're passing by. That's the 13 car of Ryan Acosta. Here we go. Oh, filter gets turned. Matthew Rodriguez gets turned right in front of the field. Everybody's going to get by. It looks like, oh, my goodness gracious me. Oh, and he just got nailed by the 23 car who gets nailed at a, another team uh, team. Captain Robert Band, John Dillon has gotten a piece of it. Pichu London is involved. There's Jack Richards involved. Oh my. Oh, there goes the Brandon Gonzalez machine getting a piece of it. This is absolute utter chaos here at Daytona already. As taking the lead once again is Jake Johnson. Oh my goodness gracious. Right behind him, you've got the Jordan Hester machine. So right now, one member of Team Cole, one member of Team Henley. But so far, you've got Robert Ban, Matthew Rodriguez, Dougie Shears, and Sean Henley, who have all met problems. What about Seth Cole? He's the only one that I haven't noticed that may have problems. He's all the way back here in the 19th position. Crosses the stripe this time in 13th, just to the high side of Connor Breton. But my goodness, look at this. Sean Henley, he's on pit road. Just ahead of him, I believe that was Robert Ban. It was indeed. And Dougie Shears is currently running in 20th. Matthew Rodriguez is has retired from the race. Wow. Absolutely incredible events going on here already as it's a two-car breakaway still. Still a member of Team Cole in Jake Johnson out in front, and then a member of Team Henley there in second. That is Jordan Hester. Let's look a little further back here. Here's a good battle. Alex Filter out of Team Ban fighting alongside of the 15 car of Tim Walsh. Walsh is uh, another member of Team Ban, and here comes the 14 of Zach Carlson from Team Cole. So two members of Team Cole, two members of Team Ban in the top five as we speak. And it looks like Zach Carlson will help Tim Walsh get by Alex Felter. Let's look further back here. There's Luke Walker, a member of Team Shears running in sixth. A member of Team Rodriguez running back there in seventh. That is Matt, uh, John Worry. Then you got Jake Cole back there in eighth. Jake Cole is a member of Team Henley. 
There's Adam Fiegel, a member of Team Cole, running in ninth. And then a good gaggle of cars back here. Connor Breton is in that mix. 77 car is in there as well. That's uh also looks like the it's the car of Joseph Bryant there. Can't tell if that's the 80 or the 85. No, that's Seth Cole there. Team captain on that high side there. And now he'll slide in front of others back there. Let's look at these guys. There's Seth Cole. They're in 12th. Daniel Schwab is actually listed one lap down in the 77 car. But there's uh, Justin Johnson from Team Cole running 13th. And Brian Fleener out of Team Shears running in the 14th position. Then there's Joseph Bryant. Driver from Team Ban. And then it's a long ways back before you find these guys battling it out. Jacob Bell alongside of Charles Jackson. Bell, as we know, out of Team Ban. And Jackson also out of Team Ban. And then back here in 17th, we find Jacob Lawler out of Team Rodriguez. And then Trent Dunham out of Team Henley. But right now, looks like it's a three-way battle for the lead now. Still, it is Jake Johnson out in front trying to give the win to Team Cole. And he's got a teammate right behind him in Zach Carlson. Jordan Hester back there, though. He'd love to be able to bypass both these guys and give the win to Team Henley. Some other cars starting to close in. This may be a race to the finish before all is said and done. Still, two members of Team Cole, one member of Team Henley, and there are others closing in quickly. Boy, I'll tell you what, Jordan Hester wants by Zach Carlson. Here he goes down to the inside line. Leaving the Jake Johnson machine all by himself. Here come some other cars in the form of Alex Filter and Tim Walsh. Filter and Walsh both out of Team Ban. Working together. And picking up ground in a hurry. Look at the run they're getting here. My goodness. I think someone spun out here coming off the turn. It may have been Doug Dougie Shears. I don't know. Michael Harvey there in 19th position. Harvey right now, uh, he's a member of Team Rodriguez. And in 20th is team captain of Team Shears, Dougie Shears. But here we go. Jordan Hester with the lead. Filter and Walsh. Team Ban coming to life here already at Talladega. Here we go. Filter, Walsh, they'll take the low road. Hester takes the high road, and Alex Filter will be at the straight before him. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Anyway, whoa, things looking a little testy here. Oh, Tim Walsh wanted to help push Alex Filter. Had to move up to the middle groove in order to keep from turning his teammates. So we are seeing teammates working together. Right now in this, grump, in this clump of uh, cars, we've got one car from Team Henley, two cars from Team Ban, and two cars from Team Cole. Still yet to see a driver from Team Rodriguez or a driver from Team Shears up here in the top five. And they're coming up on slower cars, too. Here we go. This could be testy. Trent Dunham just ahead. Also, team captain of Team Shears, Dougie Shears. Oh, almost there's Dunham. He does turn Dunham up into Zach Carlson and takes out two of Team Cole right there. That was some great driving there by Alex Filter. Great strategy. And look who he brings into second with him. Team member of Team Band, Tim Walsh, into second. Anything goes here. You can use any strategy you want. And Alex Filter used the slower car of Trent Dunham to take out two members of Team Cole, Zach Carlson, and Jake Johnson right there. That was a great strategy move by Alex Filter, and that may give Team Ban the win. And all of a sudden, we've got some guys up here in the top five we never even thought we'd see. Got a member of Team Shears right here in... Uh, Luke Walker, we've also got the 09 car of Jacob, or uh, make that Jake Cole, a member of Team Henley, and then we got the 59 of John Worry, a member of Team Rodriguez. Meanwhile, they're up front, they're trying to get by another slower car, that's Adam Fiegel, Filter will turn him as well, he loses some spots, but gives the lead over to his teammate, Tim Walsh. 
filter. It's like he's done this before. It's like he knows exactly what to do to give a win to his team as he leaves Tim Walsh out there all by himself. He'll try and work back up there with Luke Walker, Jake Cole, as well as the uh, 18 car there. All right, make that the uh, 59 of John Worry. Here comes Luke Walker, looks underneath. The block is put down by Tim Walsh. He's looking for his teammate in the 33 to come back up, but there's no Alex Filter in sight as of yet. Here comes Filter. He's trying to come back up. They are closing in on team captain of Team Shears, Dougie Shears. It seems like the only team captain that's had no problems so far today has got to be Seth Cole, and right now he's running back in the about the 12th position. Is not up at the front yet and may not even get there. Here they come up to put a lap on the Dougie Shears machine. He throws the block on the Luke Walker machine. Oh, look out! Tim Walsh going to go down low. Everybody jacked up behind the Dougie Shears machine. They move him way up to the high side and looks like they're going to be able to bypass Dougie Shears. But next up is the Michael Harvey machine. Lap traffic, slower traffic, all playing out into this race. Tim Walsh all over the back bumper of Luke Walker. They'll charge all to the inside and they'll bypass that Allied Steel number 50 Toyota of Michael Harvey. Easily it looks like as they go three wide into the corner. Oh, wow. Luke Walker. Member of Team Shears, still out in front. He bypassed his team captain there, put him a lap down. John Worry there as well, member of Team Rodriguez. And then you've got uh, Alex Filter and Tim Walsh back there, both members, as we mentioned, of Team Ban. And then Jake Cole, a member of Team Henley. The only team not shown in the top five is Team Cole. See if we can find where the first Team Cole member would be before we'd have a race on our hands with there. And it's this guy right here, Jake Johnson. He's the first member of Team Cole back there in sixth. He's got Connor Breton behind him from Team Henley. And then his uh, team captain, Seth Cole there in the seventh position right now. And then it would be Justin Johnson in ninth. So there are three members of Team Cole in the top 10, just nobody has been able to get up to these front five. And the laps are winding down now, too. So we got a Team Shears member up there. We've got a Team Rodriguez member up there. We've got two Team Band members up there. And we've also got a Team Henley member up there. Which of those four groups is going to reap in the points and take the win today? It is Jake Cole out in front now. Tim Walsh there in second. John Worry to third. Fourth now is Luke Walker. And Alex Filter is in fifth. Here comes John Worry down to the inside line. And he gets the block thrown on him. 17 of 20 laps completed. We got a total now of four laps to go. And there's a slower car up ahead. Two slower cars up ahead. Oh, John Worry just almost got turned by... The Luke Walker machine. Mighty, mighty close right there. Here we go. They're coming up on three slower cars, actually. Jacob Bell is one of them. There they go. Charging to the inside. They'll bypass him. They'll bypass the 02. Now they come up on the 54. Who throws the block? Whoa! Wow, this is mighty, mighty, mighty close. It's kind of scary close. Oh, look at him. Oh, Jacob. Oh, the J. Cole machine almost got turned. Brings it back up the racetrack. They're three wide. And they're all going to make it by, somehow, some way. I don't know what. Oh, look at this. Alex Filter almost turned Jacob Bell right there. Here comes Luke Walker, using all this to his advantage. He'll charge to the inside and try and take the top spot. Still, the front five remain to be the same ones we've had for about the, five, uh, the last five laps. Luke Walker, Jake Cole, John Worry, Tim Walsh, and Alex Filter. One member from Team Henley, two from Team Ban, one from Team Rodriguez, and one from Team Shears. We're going to have a total when they hit the stripe of two laps to go. Who's going to win this thing? Will it be Team Henley, Team Ban, Team Rodriguez, or Team Shears? Very unlikely it would be a member of Team Cole as they are way back from about 7th through ninth position. They've got a slower car up ahead here in the form of Joseph Bryant. That's a member of Team Band. Will he try and help 
Tim Walsh and Alex Filter. Luke Walker's going to get caught up behind him. John Worry's going to try and go down low. Oh, turns Bryant into the fence was Luke Walker, and that's going to slow him up. John Worry now with the lead. Oh, here's Jay Cole. He gets into him. They're up against the car of Brian Fleener now. The slower car of Brian Fleener. John Worry is the leader. Right now, the biggest cheerleader for him has got to be Team team captain Matthew Rodriguez but he's got a trunk full of team ban in the form of Tim Walsh Walsh puts a move to the inside line tries to go three wide now he'll go into the inside Fleener throws the block Jake Cole is there as well oh look out mighty close up this turn Jake Cole nearly turned Tim Walsh but he's back on the charge again it is Walsh trying to take the checkered flag, but Jake Cole is trying to close in and take the win there for Team Henley. It's Walsh from Team Ban. Cole from Team Henley. Who's going to win this thing? Will Jake Cole be able to put him up? No, Walsh goes to the inside of Fleener, and Tim Walsh is going to do it for Team Ban. Walsh will give the win to Team Ban. Jake Cole second, and Team Ban will finish first and third. So the upper hand this week goes to Team Ban as Tim Walsh takes the win at Daytona. Let's take a look at the finishing order. Tim Walsh wins for Team Ban. Jake Cole for Team Henley finishes in second. Alex Filter for Team Ban finishes third. Luke Walker for Team Shears will finish fourth. And John Worry for Team Rodriguez will finish in fifth. Then you got two members of Team Cole in seventh and eighth. That's uh, the five of Jake Johnson and the nine of Justin Johnson. Connor Breton for Team Henley will finish in ninth. And Brian Fleener was the last car on the lead lap, finishing in the tenth position. Fleener, a member of Team Shears. So you can see where you finished here. And Team Captains, you can see where you're... Uh, your members finished. You can also, members, see where your team captains finished and where, um, yeah, you can also see where your team captains finished and also you can see where your team members ended up finishing. Take a look here. Here's where team captains finished. Seth Cole finished in the sixth position. Dougie Shears finished one lap down in 16th position. Uh, Robert Band finished in 26th out of the race. Matthew Rodriguez finished 27th out of the race. And Sean Henley finished in 35th out of the race. Hope you enjoyed today's event. We will be heading to our next racetrack, which is going to be, if I remember correctly, it's going to be uh, Bullet Super Speedway for race number two. So hope you'll tune in for that. We'll show you the points coming up here. Five teams, five uh, different point groups and we'll show you how it stacks up when we head next to Bullet Speedway. Hope you enjoyed Checkers and Records. I'm Seth Cole. See you next time.